Hello there. Welcome back to the garden. Lovely day. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> I thought we'd start here and look at the azalea. Okay. While it's looking at its best. But look at that. Beautiful. And that started off as a wee tiny thing, didn't it? In a Mother's Day basket arrangement. Yes, it did, many moons ago. And I planted it out, and look at that. There's a few gaps, so I think I'm going to have to do some pruning when it goes over. Mm. But I thought, oh, how lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so what else is going on then? And they, you saw recently that we did the hanging baskets. I did the hanging baskets. <laughs> Adrian hung them. <laughs> We're starting to fill out and get a little bit of colour. Look at that, this is beginning to trail. This should trail too, but not yet. <laughs> and you're in competition with your dad now, aren't you? I mean, yeah, I did my dad's. <laughs> His look better than mine, I'm not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Lilac tree, look at that. You bought me that, didn't you? Oh. I've made a boo-boo. I've made a mistake. I put these in so I could do the hanging baskets. And then I had some plants left from the hanging baskets. And I put this in before it was in flower. I think it's the same colour, so you can barely see it. <laughs> so I should have waited a bit longer. More dahlias coming through. Look at these ones. And that one. It's always a good show. Yeah. In this potted area. They need to be snipped out soon. I didn't know about that until this year. Because you're watching a gardening programme. Yeah. Fig tree we've moved because we found out that it needed to be on a south facing wall at the end of the day for the heat. Otherwise it won't fruit. So that's been dug up and moved. So we'll see, see how it goes. But yeah, still no sign of my arum lilies, but I think they're late, aren't they? They're later in the season. And I think I'm gonna have to get the pruning shears out soon. <laughs> Looking a bit of a state, aren't they? Yeah, it was supposed to be free balls, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, it came as one ball, but half of it died back here. So I chopped it. <laughs> <laughs> this is growing. That was a twig when we got it, wasn't it? Juniper skyrocket. Ooh. <laughs> I remembered. Bellis, chrysanthemums. Leftovers again. No, these are the ones that um, didn't die back over the winter, weren't they? Mm -hmm. the basket. And the other hanging basket. It's more colour. It's doing really well. I think they're going to be really good this year. And the tulips are nearly finished, thank goodness, because I've got leftovers over there, plus a couple of orchid geraniums and a green thing one of these that i'm going to put in here when i take these out because i'm treating these as annuals now tulips because they just don't come back there's loads more in there and they just didn't come this was from last year in the hanging basket so were these this is new and that's from last year that needs a haircut too look at that bellis as well it's just one in a pot and it's just gone crazy Look, there's even flowers down here. <laughs> Deep down there. So, I'm trying a gypsophilia this year. Gypsophila, gypsophilia, I don't know how to say it. Never grown them before. It's looking all right at the moment, so we'll see. And again, these geraniums were from last year. They've all survived. Doing well. Yeah. Look at these. <laughs> yeah, cheap arch. <laughs> yeah, cheap arch. I think we need to get a raw, raw iron one, don't we, really? Because it does look cheap. The Nellimosa is starting to climb. The, yeah, your Nellimosa. It's getting there. Look, mm. it's got new growth. It is pretty when they uh, are in full bloom. Yeah. Oh, that's got a dead bit on it there, look. Yeah, have that off. Yeah, so this one is winding its way on its own. I've only clipped it here. And this one, 
doesn't seem to be doing anything at the moment, but we have got new growth from the centre. Excellent. Yeah, so there we go. Oh. oh no, it's that one I've got to show you. But we'll do that last. Do you remember? The YouTube people won't remember, but you will. I had some looping seeds yes. Dad gave me. You dried them out, yeah. I dried some out, Dad gave me some others. And I didn't know what to do with them, so I just sprinkled them. <laughs> Look. They seem to be growing. Yeah. I don't think I've got any more. I think that's the only one, but yeah. I don't think it gets enough sun this side. I'm going to have to think of what I'm going to put just there. Yeah, maybe some... Um, maybe a heuchera or something. Well, or some rock living plants, you know. Yeah. Sort of alpine yeah. type things. I remembered to put the ball on today. Oh. And Ted can drink air. You're right, Ted. <laughs> Ted's not feeling very well today. What's up, Ted? What's up, eh? You feeling a bit sorry for yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shall I tell our friends about the saga with the grass? Well, you seem to be messing about with it oh, constantly at the moment. I have spent hours and hours and hours over the past month on the grass. We're riddled with annual meadow grass. And in the UK, we haven't got any products that will kill it off. So the only way to get rid of it is to dig it out. But I've got thousands. And I thought... I'd got on top of the ones at the top, so I started at the top bit, I was going to work my way back this way. Did that bit and thought, brilliant, that's all done, seeded it, we got a load of rain and they were all back. I'm so disheartened. But yeah, our grass seems to lay horizontal. So I've tried to rake it all up and there's still quite a bit of dead stuff coming out. You think I should scarify it again, don't you? Well, either that or the only option is rotivate it all up, soften it and lay some really good turf. That might be an option. So we've got some really dodgy grass coming as well, haven't we? Yeah, you I don't said think it's that, ever been laid. Yeah. I think it's just when it, the house was built, it was just left. Yeah, and, um, yeah, like this. Well, when we moved in, this this was all gravel. I'll try and find a picture actually to put it in. The, the oh. place was... Did, well, it's diabolical when we first moved in. It there wasn't was a, a garden, was it? There was um, <laughs> some stones, a big lump of grass uh, around there. Uh, not grass, sorry, gravel, gravel. around there. Um, yeah, I'll find some pictures. It was, um, yeah. it was not a nice place. No. So we have worked wonders, but to me it's not perfect and I'd like it to be perfect. We've spent such a long, lot of money on the garden and yeah. I spent a lot of time out here. The trouble is with this soil, because this was floodland yeah. years ago, it's just silt and clay and it's, yeah. it's not growing soil. No, no, we'd have to dig quite a lot of compost in, wouldn't we? That's enough about the grass. Cause, <laughs> so, things are growing. I don't know whether they'll remember us putting the clematis in with because you did show them you putting the trellis up, didn't you? I think so. Look at the buds at the top, one's about to pop, and those are the double clematis, aren't they? Interesting when they come out. Yeah. See what they look like. Beautiful, they were lovely last year. And the black lace at the back, the dark plant, do you remember it was as tall as the, shed, uh, the fence, taller maybe, but it lost all its leaves, so I chopped it down to the ground. It's got buds. Good. I'm over the moon. Yeah, but everything seems to be doing ever so well, so I'm really pleased and I'm crossing my fingers. Oh, the twigs that Dad gave us, I've planted them. They're hibiscus, and I'm hoping that they're a different colour to what we've got. Fingers crossed. The Wygelia's looking good at the back there. What are they called? Hellebores. My hellebores are still in flower. <laughs> it's May. <laughs> yeah. The red jasmine, I'm not seeing any um, buds, so I don't know whether I maybe pruned it wrong at the end of last year, I don't know. It looks healthy, it's growing, as is that, look at that, is that a juga? I think it's called a juga, look at the blue, bright blue, gorgeous, yeah. I moved this this morning, I'll show you why in a minute. And 
poor little white astilbe is getting drowned by the pink one. But look at this. I, I think this is my crowning glory of the garden. It's stunning, <laughs> isn't it? Look at the light on it. Yeah, it's pretty colour. It's beautiful. Very good colour. Oh, something just fell off it. Ooh, no oh well, <laughs> it's probably left from when I was trimming it. And my little bush has got out of control. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you remember, there was a, oh gosh, what are they called? <sighs> Bleeding heart behind the um, hosta. But that hosta's going to be huge and drown it, so I've moved it. <laughs> and there's another one there. Yeah. yeah. And this, horses, they, uh, they pop up and you forget where they forget are. Forget where they are. <laughs> that is right next to where that little plant was that I moved and that's why I moved it. Mm -hmm. But we've just had another discovery this morning, haven't we? I found another hosta. <laughs> just popping up. You can only see a leaf. Just in front of the heuchera. But yeah, another one. Well, we think every year we've lost them. Um, we had a load near the shed. I wonder um, if they've travelled. Well, I doubt it, but they never, no. they never came back near the shed. But every year, yeah. we kind of think they're not going to come up again. And they, uh, they've they disappeared, rotted away. Because this is really, this area is just flooded oh. all the time. Dries out very little. Yeah. Um, only in the summer after four or five weeks of sun. Yes. So we think we lose them every year. And then, yeah, prove us wrong. This was a new plant, wasn't it? And that's got buds on it now. So that should flower soon. Mm. Yeah, your pittosporum's lovely. Yeah, it is. I think we need to get some more Japanese maples. What do you think? Because you can get all different varieties. There's green ones, red ones, bronze ones. Mm. Reds are nice. Yellow ones. Maybe so. Yeah. We'll, we'll skip the dirty bit at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, this is all seeded. Oh, you mean that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't keep on top of it. It's just from the trees. Yeah, we these... almost need a canopy over it, don't we? Yeah, as these grow, they just drop everything yeah. all through the whole year. Well, that might be a thought, some sort of canopy. Helicopter. One of those helicopter seats. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Red Japanese maple doing well. Now, this area. I've had trouble As with. As you can see, it's in the shade. It gets morning sun. It's about half past 12 now. So it's had morning sun. You see the sun's moving that way now. And then it has afternoon shade. I had ferns in there and they died. We think it's because the trees, the monkey puzzle tree, the bamboo are sap supping all the water, don't we? And it's too dry. And there's a massive great big conifer just there. There's, they're huge. And I mean, they're full grown trees. Moisture the soil. Yeah. <laughs> So I dug the dead ferns up, I had to move the bleeding heart, that's just there. I've trampled half this plant, putting these in with your help. So we've put these hostas here to see how they go. But they're staying in the pots so that we can keep them watered. All oh, those bricks need to be adjusted, look, and see how they go. But what I'm also thinking, Mr. R, is I might like to put the Japanese maple in the middle of them, just in front, but in the centre. What do you think? It'd fill that little area. I think I'll keep my nose out because... <laughs> I think I, I might try I, it. If I say something, you'll just tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> I think I might try it on bricks like those are and... Um, just see if it starts to look as if it's not liking it I'll move it again but it's got exactly the same conditions just there as it would have there yeah morning sun and afternoon shade yeah so yeah everything's looking really good another hosta there oh the peach tree has gone mad it didn't have that much bloom on a couple of days ago, <laughs> but I've got a couple of peaches. Look, one there and one there. Can't find any more, so I think it's going to be pulled out oh, at the end of this ship. Where? In there. Oh, yeah. So we've got four peaches then. Probably more if you look. 
We had some peaches last year, but they didn't really do No, we anything. had one. Bird uh, got it. <laughs> yeah, the birds, the birds yeah. like eating them before we actually get to pick them. And the other thing that's not doing very well is your Californian lilac. I don't know why, but I've trimmed it, I've chopped it, I've fed it. I don't know what else to do other than move it. Mm. So, But I don't know where. I might have to do some Googling about that. And geraniums. Geraniums left over from last year. Yep. Our lemon and lime hebe is in flower. Look at that. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. The oh, I can never remember what that's called. <sighs> no, it's gone. Have you seen the geranium? The white geranium. It's in flower. Mm. It's pretty. I want to say a Veronica, but it isn't. It's the other one. St oh, help everybody. It begins with S. I'm sure it does. It probably doesn't say in that. <laughs> Spitosporum. <laughs> oh, Pittosporum's your tree. <laughs> I've just changed it to an S. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Still no sign of the lilies. They'll come. They yeah. Do. Yeah. Rose tree hidden Look at that there. rose tree. Yeah, yeah. That's looking really healthy. Yeah. Not into that roses, was, but that's no. Nice. <laughs> well, we we kept them because these are the ones that Stacy bought us. That's the only reason we kept them. Yeah, I don't like the thorns. They always get me. Yeah, look at your daisies. They've just taken over. Yeah, they're going to be a good show this year. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff and this. Oh, I don't know what it is with this ground covering plant. It just does such a good job. Oh, I don't know what that's called either. It, Can't it just remember. Lovely to fill a gap. <laughs> I only put a little tiny bit in as well. Mm. Yeah. 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 It's going. So here's the other hibiscus. But look at the bronze. Um, hmm. Oh, my brain is so bad. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Go on. What is it? You're asking me, you're the gardener. <laughs> Hydrangea, that's there it. Hydrangea, yeah. yeah. And the, um, well, we don't know what it is, but this, this tree here, um, it's a bit of a nemesis really, because it was a little twig when we moved in. Yeah. And I really hacked it back last year with a chainsaw. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you wouldn't know. It goes crazy. It produces some fruit. Um, I think the cherries, I eat them. Yeah. But I don't know, if it just what doesn't look like a cherry tree. But anyway, there you go. Yeah. So, so yeah, it, it's getting there. This is Chinese plumbago. That's bright blue. That's beautiful. And in here somewhere, oh, there, there, and here, I planted a few bulbs that I bought because I saw these one plant, and I can't remember what they're called again. And I was saying it all night last night. Begins with L. <laughs> And they're like tall spears of pink. So I bought some of those because I wanted them. But little did I know that the pack had two other sets of bulbs as well. I thought they were all the same. But yeah, so that was silly. However, I have got something to show you. Is this the finale? Uh, no. <laughs> Look. Look at the size of that bird. This is the one Dad bought us a little while ago, and it's called Salmon Star. It's supposed to be really beautiful salmon pink. The geum is ready to pop. Somebody's not happy. No, <laughs> I wonder if it's George up the road. Again, that was leftovers, so I just popped them in a pot. It's all pretty, it all adds to the colour. I don't know what this is, Dad gave me it. He said, stick it in, it'll grow. Sad. And look at my sad, sad flamingo tree. It lost this half, it just died, so I chopped it off. But it this half looks healthy enough, so it I don't know what. Back. Hey? It'll come back. Do you reckon? I don't know. This bit looks dead, so I don't think it's going to grow that way. Prune it at the end of the year, see what happens. Yeah, and we still don't know what this is, do we? And look at the size of it now. No, <laughs> it looks like a nettle, but... Does anybody know what this is? <laughs> Please. We thought, I thought it was lemon balm, but it isn't. It doesn't smell of lemon. Oh, there's something coming up there. Look. 
you might not be able to see it. Just here, look. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these are my leftovers, look. So that's what's going in the tulip pot. And then finally, we're back at the other hanging basket with the colour. Or did we start there? We started there. Oh, we yeah. started there. Right, well, that's it then. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed our tour. We thought we might as well do it today because it's so lovely. It's really warm. Yeah. Wasn't supposed to be as warm today, but hey-ho, we're going to take it. Yeah. <laughs> so enjoy your gardens, whatever you're doing. Take care. Bye.